What do you hear? What do you see? It's Tony Talk. My name's Tony. And tonight, we're going to talk about something, something good. Like last night's show, which could have been good, had potential. Yeah. I mean, at least that potential, but a couple of people ruined it. So before I even get into the show tonight, I just want to let everybody know something. People with filthy mouths, please do not call my line. Please do not talk to me about uh, certain genitalia parts or the, you know, privates, stuff like that. And the problem I have with this is children might be listening to the show. And even I myself, I'm very, uh, I'm very ashamed to uh, essentially lose my temper and swear. I'm a Catholic man. Um, my mother listens to this show. My sister listens to this show. And to be honest with you, you guys made me very nervous yesterday. And uh, I'm kind of nervous right now. You guys gave me agita. And I'm going to try to do the show straight. And I'm going to try to pay homage to a very dear special wrestler of mine. One of my favorites. I love this guy. Steve Borden. The man they call Sting. Now, the one thing I'm thinking about Sting here, okay? Let's take a look at his entire WCW career. Even before that, guys, we're going to go back to the NWA times. We're going to go back to when he was flashboard, and we can talk all about that. You had a legacy, a legacy, people. If you're a Sting fan, you know. From Surface Sting right up to Crow Sting to Joker Sting, the man's an entertainer, kind of like your boy here, Tony. But you see, everybody wanted to see Sting go to the WWE. World Wrestling Entertainment, a.k.a. WWF, before the panda came into it and destroyed everything. Uh, so, the man signs with the company, and what do they do? I'll tell you what they did. They didn't give us fans that dream match that we wanted between him and The Undertaker. Instead, they threw Triple H in there, the boss's son-in-law, but whatever, that's behind the scene. I don't want to talk about that. It makes me sick, though. Was... So, what I'm going to say to you is I think that they screwed him. I could be right. Yeah, it could be wrong. Who knows? But I would love to hear some people tonight. I'd like to hear somebody's uh, opinions, aside from my own. So wrestling fans out there, feel free to call in. I already got some calls on the line. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go with 213. Was, ah, 213, let's see what's happening with you. 213, how you doing? It's Tony. Tony, how are you? Tony. I'm fine, my brother. I'm a lot better than yesterday. Hello. I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm collected. I'm the three C's, baby. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, Tony, this is Doug Daniger, gay man and gay journalist. I thought I'd give you a buzz. Uh, I'm really enjoying your show tonight. I'm sorry. So you said your name was Doug Daniger, and you are a gay uh, man yes, and a gay journalist. Uh, yes. Uh, I believe I have a sort of gay edge in perceiving things in the entertainment world and the news. I have a, uh, a gay eye that gives me an extra level of perception and... Uh, I thought I'd just like to call in. I'd like to give an update to some of the stories we're working on in the Doug Daniger newsroom. Uh, fellow blog talk radio show host Clayton Randall Douglas has finally escaped from confinement in Candy, Cynthia Clanton's big spring home, and has logged onto his Facebook and posting under his own alias for the first time. He has been uh. reportedly... Uh, claiming that he has been sexually abused by his partner and business manager, specifically with Bad Dragon brand sex toys, um, specifically the Gondolon, Smog, and Diarrhea Doug models. Um, and another thing, we've found out that there is going to be... Okay, so... Um... 213, your call was dropped. Apparently his name was Doug Banniger, and he was a gay man who is a journalist. And of course he called me and decided to tell me about a guy and some girl that I have no idea who they are. And um, 
It has nothing to do with staying. But, uh, I mean, hey, and by the way, as far as you being a gay journalist goes, you don't have to sit there and announce that you're gay. I mean, if you're gay, you're gay. Who cares? As long as you're a good journalist and you're not trying to stick your patrol where it don't belong. You dig? Oh, we're going to go to the next call. The 111, I, I'm not even going to get into it, but you're on the air with Tony. Hit me. What's up? Hey, Tony, this is Joshua. How are you doing? Joshua, how you doing, buddy? Is this, you, this is the doctor in the uh, chat room, yeah? Yeah, this is Dr. Joshua Higgins. I'm just trying to get a better idea of who this thing character is. I'm not really into wrestling. I'm more into homosexuality and Jewish studies. But I would like to learn more about Sting and his contribution to the WWE. Well, uh, Doctor, before I even get into Sting and his contributions to the world of wrestling, not just WWE, um, how exactly does one go about having a degree in uh, homosexual and Jewish studies? I've never heard of this, and I feel like I'm going to regret asking, but please uh, continue. Well, you know, at DeVry University offers a variety of degrees. And after I sucked so much dick and read the, read the Torah so okay. much, very I nice. decided... Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, uh, Dr. Higgins apparently has a filthy mouth, and he likes to call up... Uh, I have children listening to this show, guys. Come on. You're going to cop up here with the, the dirtiness. See? I'm trying to talk about Sting... The, the man they call Sting, and, uh, you know, and I still got, if that Higgins guy is still in that chat room, hey, I don't even care, he can stay in there, he's not bothering me as long as he doesn't call me again, and pollute the airways with his madness. Anyway, uh, are you a Sting fan? 312, 312, you're on the air with Tony, hit me. Yes, I am, actually, I'm a big Sting fan. I wanted to uh, tell you, like, an interesting, fun fact about him. He was the only WCW world champion with war paint. And that paint on his face came out of my duck. Very nice, 312. I mean, I, I, you, I'm sure you traveled with them and, and you carried it nice in your sack there. You, um, so what's going to happen here is I'm hanging up on him because he's dirty. He's got another filthy mouth. I, I got these two mouths calling in here, uh, breaking chops. But guess what, fellas? I'm all set. I went to church this morning, early mass. I spoke to the padre. After what I did to, to everybody last night, I said what I said last night. And the man upstairs forgave me. And padre said everything straight. But can you say the same thing about yourselves? Disgrace. It's disgusting. Okay, unknown caller. Go ahead. Please tell me you are a Sting fan. I'm looking for them high and wide, and I'm coming up dry. Go for it. Yeah, hi Tony. This is uh, Dick Puller. I'm a huge Tig fan. Yeah, he's a he's a, he's a icon in the uh, in the wrestling world. I uh, one time I had uh, him and Brock Lesnar. I caught him. Uh, you know, this guy calls in and tells me his name is Dick Puller. Uh, for the people that are actually offended by this language, I apologize again. Um, you know, maybe next time he was a little bit more deformed in some class. I know it's very hard to find some. Yeah, but maybe if you search long and wide, you'll find it. Not like me, who's trying to find real wrestling fans. I'm starting to lose hope and sleep. Okay, 312, you're on the air with Tony. Hit me. Go ahead. What's up, buddy? Hey there. I am a big Sting fan. I, uh, I got to meet him one time, and I didn't get to see him wrestle live or anything, but he was signing oh, okay. autographs at the time. Which and, he does, um, and he's very, very giving with the autographs, man. I'll tell you, he's a good guy. Oh, Go absolutely. He, yeah, he is. He is a great guy, you know, when it comes to the fans and everything. Um, and, you know, it was at our local mall. So my uncle used, was an independent wrestler back in the day. So he was being Sting's, or one of Sting's bodyguards. So I got to meet him, and I dared him to put me in the Scorpion Deathlock. I said, well, isn't that the same thing as the sharpshooter? But the next thing I know, he puts me in the move, and he reaches around and starts tugging on my wee-wee. Oh, my goodness. So that's not a, just a scorpion death lock. That's uh, more like a scorpion death stroke. And thank you for calling because that was disgusting. Hey, I feel like I'm reprimanding children here. I told you, this makes me, this type of language makes me very nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm very new to this show stuff. I'm very new to broadcasting. 
and I'm trying to have a smooth night. I'm trying to talk about, I haven't even begun. You guys are doing the same stuff that you, you guys are doing the same stuff that you did last night with Brock. Let's cut it out. Let's talk about Sting. All right. I'm just going to talk about Sting. So Sting makes it to WrestleMania to wrestle Triple H. And Triple H goes over. Fine. Then like the result of the match. However, WWE did us a great justice by having Degeneration X and the NWO who Sting tortured for years destroyed these guys. We're trying to destroy his loving home of his company, WCW, and he took them out. And they're good on WWE for nostalgic reasons, but the match was kind of it was kind of garbage. Um, I didn't like the way he looked during the match. I mean, I'm sure Chris Jericho. I remember Chris Jericho saying something about that. He was going bald. There was something that could have do with that. He, he, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? One, one, one. You're on the air with Tony. I don't care if you have an unknown number. Please do not talk about crap. Uh, go ahead. Why was I going to talk about crap, Tony? Why do you? I, I'm not planning oh. to talk about crap. I'm planning oh, to talk no, about no, Sting. Not this guy. Hey. Uh, what? I'm trying to talk about Sting. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm trying to have a serious conversation what here. What I say about the hell? What I say about the language? God, hey, come on. Guy's a doctor and he's talking like that. I wouldn't see him. I wouldn't send my doctor that doctor. If anybody out there is seeing Dr. Higgins, don't go to him. He's no good. Still not. One, one, one. You're on the air with Tony. Please don't aggravate me. You're making me sick. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Tony, this is uh, Jacob Wing. How you doing, buddy? Um, perturbed at the moment because I got oh, yeah, yeah, idiots no, calling I, in. I can understand. Wow, that Dr. Higgins, he's he's incorrigible, man. You're going to have a fight on your hands. But I want to encourage you, man, don't give up. Don't give up, man. Uh, don't give up. You need to keep working on the show. I, I, um, I think you had, um, you know, a really one of the best-known producers in America call your show last night, Steve. I highly, highly recommend him, man. He he turned around Clay Douglas's show. Uh, that show was nothing but a train wreck. Um, where uh, you know he would just uh, hearing, play clips. I keep hearing about yeah. this uh, this guy Steve and the, this yeah. uh, Larry guy. And oh, no, I'm gonna, Barry, I'm gonna his talk. Name is Barry. Barry okay, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to those guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, talk I to those guys. Definitely. It sounds like they know what they're doing, apparently, because these yeah. these morons go into people's shows and they ruin it, and they're not gonna do it to me like they did to that other guy there. So go ahead. Go yeah, ahead, yeah, man. Higgins, Higgins, man, you got to watch out for him. He uh, he's a militant, predatory homosexual, and uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if he's uh, he's he has a, he he kind of has a reputation across the country um, as being very confrontational, but also his uh, one of his things he likes to try to seduce married men. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I, I've had some run-ins with him when I called in other shows on blog talk and he, he's kind of getting a reputation, uh, nationwide. So watch out for him. But I tell you what though, man, he does make for good radio. He does make for real good radio. Uh, you and him going at it, you know, arguing. I know you said you have children listening to this show, but I'm telling you what, man, uh, that stuff gets ratings. <clears throat> that stuff, uh, it makes the show flow better. You know, confrontation is... You I'm know, not doing this for ratings, guy. I'm not doing this for ratings. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because I enjoy it, and I like talking to you people. But I got these guys no, like this I guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's a scotch. That's all. He's never getting on this show well, again, and that's it. Well, I tell you what, man. Next thing you know, you, you know, you're just starting on radio. Next thing you know, you're on, you know, you're on Howard, you know, you're on one of Howard Stern's channels, man. You know, are you on Sirius Satellite Radio? You know, you're. They had that busted open show. Next thing you know, you have Tony's show. You know, just think about that. That stuff like this uh, gets, gets not so much ratings, but it's good radio, right? You know, we're talking about good radio here, and this stuff is oh, good please, radio. Listen, um, listen, you make a you make a great point, sir. But uh, this guy, I am already dealing with a few lunatics on here. I don't want to deal with it on a nationwide uh, scale. It'll make me sick. Go on and get you like, down. Literally, you I got a good time going here. Time. I wouldn't yeah, even be able to hold myself. Stuff going here, man. Oh, you thank you. I appreciate the call. Yeah, yeah. And I'll call and I, I have to call. And sometimes uh, Dr. Higgins got my number somehow one time, and I have sometimes have to call him black because he, uh, he, he'll he blow up my phone with uh, disgusting pictures. So I apologize for the black number, but I'll call in, man. I appreciate it.
Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thank you. Hey, thanks for the call. And uh, I'll talk to you later. All right, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, bye. Finally, I got somebody with some sense and not a scumbag. All right, I'm going to go ahead and deal with this guy. One, one, one. You're on the air with Tony. How you doing? Okay. Hey, hey, hey I, this is Frank. Frank, how you doing, buddy? Listen, can you lower your voice a little bit? You kind of went through my head. Go ahead. No, no, I have. I'm just high pitched. How are you doing today, Tony? I, I'm really enjoying your show so far. Um, how am I enjoying it? I'm enjoying I, your show so far. You know, I I know that uh, the, there have been a few interruptions, but I, I do like your show so far. Oh, thank you. Listen, I appreciate it. And the interruptions are going to go away because I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to shut these guys down. Um, apparently this is a thing that they do that they start attacking people. I'm not really used to this stuff. Um, they attack people, they ruin people's shows. I don't understand why. Um, but it's going to stop here because I don't take crap. Well, you crap, you just but, need to take control of the chat room. You just need to take control of your chat room is all you need to do. I'm in the chat room right now, and no one's in the chat room aside from that Higgins guy, and I want to boot him. I want to get rid of him. Why, I want why him do you want to boot Higgins? Why do you want to get rid of Higgins? Well, because he calls in with a filthy mouth, and that's all he does is he talks this uh, garbage Do you about. just hate the gays? You really hate the gays, don't you? Oh, no, I don't hate the gays. What are you talking about? You hate the gays and the Jews. God, dude, I thought this was a wrestling show, not an anti-Semitic, uh, anti-gay show. No, uh, this is not the show like that. First of all, you're putting words in my mouth. I don't like that. Well, you just I'm said you hated Dr. Joshua Higgins, and he's a gay Jewish professor. I don't hate you him just called him a Jew queer. No, I don't you, hate you just called him a Jew queer. I said he's a gay you just Jew, him a Jew queer. Jew. You just said, all right, that's it. Thank you for no, calling. No, no, don't. I never said that he was a gay, queer Jew. I never do. Th- I didn't say that. I said it now because I'm. Re- forget it. Uh, these mother. F- you guys are gonna. F- mm. Who's uh, three one two? Go ahead. What's happening? You're on the air with Tony. Unfortunately, go for it. When Sting was in WCW, he defeated nine former WWE World Heavyweight Champions, but he never defeated Droopy Schlong. That's my droopy cock. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Good on you coming into a show like that with a filthy mouth again. I keep telling you f- people that this is not good. This is... I'm very upset. You guys are giving me agita and a headache. I need you to stop calling me in. Stop calling the show. Just stop. If, you, if you're going to say anything about... Um... Stuff like that. Just don't don't pick up the phone, guys. Come on, just don't pick up the phone. Just call me. We're talking about Sting. Anybody have an opinion about Sting's WWE performance? Let's go. I'm gonna swing in the dock here. One one one. Another one. Go ahead. You're on the air with Tony. Hey, what do you Tony. think about Sting's WWE Tony. run? Uh, hey, I'm Tony. sorry. What? This is, uh, John. This is John Zakis. You can call me uh, Dante. I'm calling from uh, Trenton, New Jersey. Just wanted to say I really like the show. Uh, I'm a bison like you, and uh, you keep it up. These guys, these trolls don't know no humor, right? No, they don't, Dante. And the problem that I have with this uh, is uh, not only do they not know any good humor, it's trash humor, but they call in here and they start saying stuff to me. And it has nothing to do with anything. I'm trying to talk about Sting, um, you know, the wrestler, not the singer, for anybody else that just tuned, tuned in. Um, and they, they call him garbage. They call him garbage and they're saying uh, disgusting things. Yeah, I don't yeah, like I hear, I'm, hear, I'm hearing it come through the phone, too. Uh, hey, listen, man, I got a uh, big ZD coming through. I'm going to give you a buzz right after. Have a good one. This is uh, John Zakis. Okay. T- take it easy, buddy. Thanks for the phone call. Okay, you've been holding a while there, one one one. You should be unmuted. You're on the air with Tony. How you doing? Yeah, hey Tony, this is just uh this is just Jake I'm just listening, man. I'm enjoying the show, buddy. I already talked to you, but I'll keep talking to you. Just keep watch out. I think that I think uh you gotta watch out for the Higgins man. He's notorious. He'll he'll 
Uh, don't let them sabotage your show, but uh, you keep uh, you keep going at them, pal. You keep going at them. Just me on hold. Just like listening to the show, buddy. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, again, Higgins is... Um, I'm going to watch for him. I probably am not going to be able to answer 111s anymore. I got another one sitting there. He's been sitting there for two and a half minutes now, and I don't really want to aggra- you know, I don't want the aggravation from him. It's probably Higgins, but hopefully it's not. Um, do you have anything else to say aside from being a nice guy? Because you're a nice guy, and I like you, but do you have anything else you got to say uh, about Sting? Please, anything positive? I uh, well, sometimes I see Sting. I, uh, I I remember I watched WCW back in the day with my buddies and and everything, and then Sting, I'll be honest with you, I think I stopped watching Sting when he was in the WCW, I think that would have been about 20-something years ago. Um, I guess my favorite wrestler was Goldberg, uh, but Sting was a cool guy. Um, I uh, He always reminded me of the Crow, actually, from uh, uh, what's the Brandon Lee guy with the face paint. So <laughs> he's a, He seems like a good, talented athlete wrestler. Uh, but other than that, I... I don't know much about Sting, buddy. I just, I, I like, actually, I just uh, like listening to the show, and it's kind of informative uh, to know about Sting. I know I didn't know anything about him, you know. Um, it. I, I wish so, I could. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could have informed you a little bit more, but I can't because I got fools calling in. But uh, thank you for oh, your hey, call. You know, hey, it's good yep. being interactive, buddy. It's good being uh, interactive. Uh, it's tough to uh, just sit there, and I was in radio for a couple of years, and in the monologue. Um, you know, even though you have to pick up and argue with these uh, callers, it still it helps the show move along a little bit, right? You know, it's tough to monologue for a, an hour. So uh, I know it aggravates you, but uh, the back and forth that you have with your callers, you know, as a as a tough East Coast Italian guy that, that you sound like, um, it's it's actually pretty cool, hey. pretty entertaining. So don't don't hey, uh, thank, don't thank get you, too down on yourself, man. It. Yeah. Uh, right on. Thank you very much. Thank you for your phone call. I'm going to leave you on here listening. And uh, again, thank you for your phone call, Bob. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Take care. And that was a wonderful call. More people need to call in like that. Use that man as a reference to behavior. Stop calling and leave it. You know, okay, so I'm in my chat room right now, and I'm going to repeat a couple things. You are a, uh, this is coming from this Dr. Higgins. Um, F you, Tony, you're a pussy, take me on, bitch, you're a coward, and the pussy. Uh, these stars that say, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to mean F you, bitch, address me, pussy. These are all things he's saying to me, and I'm the one that, that, dealing with it apparently no one else is you're ruining the show Higgins stop typing he wrote cock okay very nice I'm a coward and he's writing cock in my chat room anyway 312 you're on the air with Tony hey Tony hey 312 please tell me you are a normal human being oh of course I'm normal what you up to bud well, I'm trying to host the show right now, and I got a bunch of people calling in, and um, just being disgusting. I've got filthy mouth doctors, and I got um, you know, one guy seemed kind of all right. It was the gay, the gay journalist guy. What am I talking to him? He didn't seem like a pain in the ass. I mean, he was a little off subject, but that's fine. But um, staying on subject. What did you notice about Sting's WWE uh, career? His very short career there before Seth Rollins injured him. Well, you brought it up a little while ago, you know, about WrestleMania and the whole NWO versus the Generation X kind of thing. But in my opinion, I feel like that was Vince McMahon's final word of saying FU WCW for having Triple H go over in that match. Right. And I don't agree with it, but that's just the way Vince McMahon is. But uh, there was another caller a little while ago who was talking about the the Crow character. Do you remember seeing as the surfer? Yes, sir. I remember seeing as the surfer. That's when I first started noticing him. I mean, I, I've got oh, to take it back. 
Well, not, I mean, he was noticed on a national level, but like locally and on a lower level when he had the mouth guard, he was teaming with Jim Helwig, uh, who later on became the ultimate warrior, um, who contrary to popular belief, because I know this guy's probably out there listening right now, the ultimate warrior never sold his body to Brock Lesnar for a night. That's disgusting. And um, yeah, it's some fool that called in last night and I had to start screaming at him. He made me sick. Well, um, I I personally like the Crow character more than the Surfer, especially after, uh, let's see, three or four months ago, Sting said, oh, well, you know, my Surfer gimmick was not like a bash at the beach kind of Surfer, surfing the waves. This was more of a butthole Surfer. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very, very I couldn't nice. Believe okay. It. I can't believe it either. Thank you so much for enlightening me and telling me that Sting was a butthole You're very surfer. welcome. You're well, very you welcome. Have a good night now. Just, have a good night now. There's plenty to. more to Thank come, you. too. There's plenty more where that came okay. from. So. Thank you very much. Okay. There are children listening to the show. I, I mean, probably. It's Friday night at 1030. I don't know what these kids do anymore. Let's go ahead. Stop with the filth. And we're going to go to another call. This guy's been waiting here for a while, and I'm kind of uh, hesitant to, to take the call. I shouldn't even take the call. But I'm going to do it. And um, all right. So please tell me you have something to say about this. Hello. Hey, turn on the background. Hello. 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 This is me, Tyrone from New York City. How you doing? Tyrone from New York City, Tyrone. Yeah, yeah, brother. How you doing? Tyrone, you sound like... Well, I be listening to your show. And I've been hearing about Sting being a surfer, and I know that's a load of shit. You could say crap instead of shit. Why are you letting these lies be promoted on your show, brother? I didn't hear that last part. I didn't hear that last part. You must. Why are you be lying on the show, brother? Why are you be allowing these lies on your show, brother? It's like you mentioned in the Italian cold cuts and shoving them up your ass. Okay. Have a nice night, oh, yeah. Tyrone. Thank you for calling in with your filthy, disgusting mouth. I really, I can understand not abusing your children, but when you got, you know, a filth, a filthy, disgusting person growing up, you pick up on it right away. And normally your parents take care of it by giving you a little skasha, the bakala, or by rinsing your mouth out with soap. But apparently these people never uh, had that done. My throat is closing on me. And I am on uh, antidepressants because of you people. And if I drop dead tonight on this computer show, on this radio show, I hope you all burn in hell. Um, so I'm going to take another call and hopefully this is about, uh, Sting, you know, because this is what the show is about. Sting's WWE career. You're getting me mad. I'm about to start swearing. Ma, if you're listening, I'm sorry. But these buffoons, these mama looks, the stool knobs, I busted my balls. Okay. You're on the air with Tony. You want to talk about Sting or you want to talk about something that makes me sick? Go ahead. Hello. Okay, goodbye. Hey. Hello? I'm a man. 909, you're on the air with Tony. How you doing, buddy? Hey, how you doing, Tony? It's Vinny. Hey, Vinny, how you doing? How's everything? Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, these trolls, you know, they're uh, trying to attack the show. I think it's terrible. I, I hope you put these trolls in their place. And uh, don't let them bring you down, Tony. You can do this. Thank you very much, 909. 909, you seem like a, a decent human being, unlike uh, certain scumbag doctors that call my show. And... um I just wanted to. I just wanted to uh, ask you a question. What was your opinion yeah. on Sting's WWE uh, run? What's your opinion on this? If you're a wrestling fan, if you're a Sting fan, what's up? 
What do you say? He had a great run. I don't know if you remember the old school video games when uh, I used to play Sting all the time. And every time they'd hit him, he'd make this weird shriek sound. But uh, I was a big fan of Sting, you know, always have been, especially when he was in that Raider Rumble movie. You remember that movie? That was pretty good. That movie was, uh, it wasn't bad. You know, the only thing I didn't like about it um, was the, the 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 guy there, the one, the actor, David Arquette. You didn't like him. I didn't like the fact that they put the belt on him either at one point. Yeah, not. I think I lost you, buddy. You still there? No? That's a no-go? Oh, that sucks. 909, you were a good caller. Please, call back in. You didn't sound like a scumbag. Okay, 248, I'm coming over to you. You're on the air with Tony. Hit me. Go ahead. Hey, Tony. How you doing? Not bad, 248. Uh, thanks uh, for your phone call, and yeah, please do not listen, give me Hey, can, can you... Uh, what I was thinking, I'm listening to the show, and I, I think it's got potential. Like, I think you've got a good voice. I think the topic's good. I think you... Uh, you make wrestling real. It's, the problem's going to be these callers that are calling in, and I, I've, I've listened to these kind of shows before, and I'll tell you this. Uh, I don't know if you if you heard from a guy named Steve, a producer named Steve. There's a guy that works on Blog Talk, does a few shows, and he's a really good producer. Name is Steve. Comes in, takes a guy like you that's got raw talent, knows how to, like, screen the call, stops all this bullshit, and lets you get your voice out there, get you some advertising dollars, get you, I mean, he'll get the show going for you. Have you heard from this guy yet? No, but I really wish I could hear from him. I mean, he did call in, but I haven't heard from him tonight um, because I could really use yeah, him right he, now because I got that Higgins guy yeah. in my chat room, which I'm going to address right yeah, now because yeah. he's a, a scotch. He's yeah, telling no, me that I'm a faggot because I'm gay. Yeah. I no, mean, Steve this guy is insane. He's leaving messages in my yeah. chat room. You are afraid of me? Brother, I ain't afraid of anybody. You ever in front of me? Yeah. <laughs> Good night. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna yeah. get into any uh, yeah, whatever. Address well, me on your is, show, and I'll leave you alone. Get out of here. Yeah, these these, they'll, these guys will do that to you, and you can't go down that road, Tony, because they'll they'll just drag you into this stuff. And that's why I'm saying you need a professional. There's a the Steve runs the board. Steve will have production meetings, and and he does it for nothing. I mean, once he gets some money coming into advertisers, you know, he'll work out a deal with you. But I've seen him do it before. He can turn a show around and. Because you got a good voice, you got a good idea for the program. These guys are going to drive you nuts. Get Steve on board. Uh, I know he's got a buddy named Barry that helps him with the advertising part of it. Uh, there's, it's a good I team. Just, yeah. I, I, again, if you've heard from them, I'd follow up with those guys because they're good, and I think they'll help you out a lot. So, hey, right on. I, I wish hey, you the best. Two, four, eight. Thank you very much, 248. Everybody, take yeah. an example from 248. Thank you, buddy. Well, I'm going to leave okay, you on your lesson. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Take All care. Right, good luck. Thank you. Hey, what do you know? A normal caller. You get 248 calling in and saying, hey, how you doing? And everybody's referring me to the Steve guy and uh, his friend, little Barry. Um, Steve, Barry. Steve, I like you. I heard you before. Barry, if you don't mind calling in, if you're a friend of Steve, you're welcome on my show, buddy. Um, so I'm going to go to another call here. And uh, 636, I'm in a good mood from that last caller. Please do not ruin it. Don't upset me, and let's talk about Sting. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Tony? Everyone that keeps asking me how I'm doing, and, and the truth of the matter is, is I don't know. I, I'm i probably going to black out later from all the stress, but go ahead. Tony, I had a quick question about Sting. How big is your penis? Uh, okay. Um, it's about the size of the bat that he carries that I'm eventually going to grab and wrap you upside your head with. You scumbag. Stop calling my show. You bastard. Thank you. And it, good night. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to take another call. This one's going to be from the 248 area code. And the 248 area code, I'm begging you not to break my balls. Um, because of these five. Okay. I'm. Let's ignore the swearing. I'm not going to swear. All right. People, 248. 248, I'm trying to get you on here. And it's buzzing, and 248 is gone. So I'm going to switch over to 312. You are on the air with Tony. And um, please keep it please keep it classy as much as you can. Hello, Tony. This is Hank. Are you still Hello, my sweetheart? Are you still my little baby? 
Frank, I don't know you enough to be your sweetheart or your little baby, this but you Hank. sound like a nice this guy. This is Hank. This is uh -huh. Hank. Okay, Hank. Not Frank. I'm sorry, Hank. Go ahead, Hank. When are you coming back home to see me again? I had to hang up on him. I had to hang up on him because um, there's something not right with him. That guy, he sounded nice, but then he asked me if I was his baby. Okay. Next caller. I'm going to have a heart attack. Please talk about Sting. Go ahead. Yes, this is uh, Cornelius. How are you doing this no, evening? No, it's not. No, I know hey, who you are. Hey, hey, hey. No, you. I know who you are. Hey, hey. You listen to me. You listen to me, Tony. If you want me to stop calling, you will not hang up on me. You, you will not hang up on me. You leave it there. Hey, you, you put hey, things in my chat room. Hey, you told me to suck your cock. Hey, you, you, you will actually you answer me on your chat room hey, if you're not a pussy yourself. bitch. You're a okay, dude. You want me to meet yourself. up and fight? See what this fucking guy does? I've been trying not to swear all night, but this fucking Dr. Higgins calling me in, lying about his name, leaving shit in the chat room. Ma, I'm sorry. I got to go back to church tomorrow. I go usually on Sundays, but these guys got me going left, right, and center. I told you don't make me nervous. You're making me nervous. You're calling in. You're saying stuff. It's, it's too much. Guys, talk about staying. Talk about wrestling. Anything. I'm going to calm down. I'm sorry. Yeah, all right. You guys almost made me wake up my mother. All right. 312. Go ahead. You're on the air with Tony. What do you got to say? Hey, Tony, you want to talk about Sting? I would love to talk about Sting because that's what the show is supposed to be about. And no one's doing it. Go ahead. What was your favorite gimmick that he's done? His, your favorite gimmick? I liked all of Sting's shtick other than the wolf pack. It uh -huh. annoyed me and he looked like the Kool-Aid guy with long hair. Go ahead. I didn't, I didn't like the wolf pack either. Keep talking. I'm very close. I'm going to come. I'm hey. going to come. Oh, what's the matter with you? Keep talking. Jesus Christ. Guys, it's a wrestling show. It's a fucking wrestling show. You're calling in and you're being disgusting. That's beyond disgusting mouth. That's beyond filth mouth. It's gutter trash. It's pure gutter trash coming up out of your neck and out of your mouth. Would you talk to your mother like that, guys? Come on. Yeah, Amy, I'm sorry. All right. You guys are making me piss my sister off. It's not what I'm here to do. 909. Uh, calm me down a little bit. Let's talk about Sting. Nine oh Hello? 909. And 909's gone. I'm Believable. I'm going to regret this, but 111, you're on the air with Tony. Go for it. Hi, Tony. This is Michael calling from Big Spring, Texas. How are you doing today? Michael, buddy, I'm very well. Uh, you're calling from Big Spring, Texas, and um, you sound nervous, and I want you to know that I can... I'm like kind of an empath, and I pick up on nerves. You don't need to be nervous. Yeah. This is supposed to be a friendly show. I'm a nice guy. What's up, Michael? Thank yeah. you for calling in. Well, this is my first time calling in any show. Um, I'm 5'9". I'm 140 pounds, and I'm looking for, you know, someone with a nice Italian sausage. <laughs> Michael, I don't know if you're oh, being Tony. smart ass right now, but um, no, no. Um, Michael, have you been drinking I, tonight, my friend? No, but I can have sex with you if you want. I don't need to be okay. drinking. Okay, thank you, Michael. Thank you, but uh, no thanks. I don't swing that way, and uh, even though I don't swing that way, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with that. Um. Oh my God. So. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm taking another call, and please don't be a filth hound. Um, 
Okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh, what, 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 one, one, one. Are you a filthy, disgusting pig, or are you a wrestling? No. Fan? Go ahead. I am. I'm a freaking wrestling fan. I'm calling about Stink. What's going on this evening, Tony? What's going on this what's evening? Going on? Your voice sounds very familiar. Your voice sounds familiar. How does my voice sound familiar? This Higgins, is my first time is, calling in. Higgins, I'm just wondering what's going Higgins, on. This is you. Higgins, this is you. Do not piss no, on my head. No, it's not. Who was Higgins? Higgins? Who was Higgins? Higgins is. Oh, Higgins. You no, hey, Stop hey Tony. All right, I'm sorry. Ma? Ma, I'm, up, I'm playing video games. Don't worry about it. I'm on the phone. God damn it. 636, please do not drive me crazier than I have to be. Go ahead. Hi, I got a 2006 uh, Ford Taurus. It's got 220,000 miles. I'm, uh, I'm asking uh, $2,700 for it. I think you may have called the wrong number. This is a wrestling show, and um, I don't sell things. Can you still put it on the air? I'm sorry, what's that, sir? Can you still put it on the air? Uh, I, 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 I used to wrestle back in high school. And uh, I really need to sell this truck. I need a penis implant. Uh, my penis okay, is very in, uh, I hope you will find it. I hope someone buys your truck from you and they give you the right amount of money for the uh, surgical procedure that you ever so need so greatly. Thank you for calling into the show, and please don't ever call me again. Okay, so um, backtracking a little bit because I feel like we got off subject. I feel like... I feel like you guys are getting a little crazy. I feel like you guys are going a little nuts. And now you're disrupting my house. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to put another decent wrestling show out there uh, via Blog Talk Radio. And you guys are doing nothing but uh, harassing the ever-living shit out of me and making me swear. And my mother's upset with me. Um, I'm pretty sure she is anyway. And before you fucking start with the, oh, he lives with his mother, she's sick. I take care of her. And fuck you, real men take care of their family. Making me swear like this. You disgrace. 317, you're on the air with Tony. Please talk about wrestling before I hang up on you, scream at you, and say something terrible. Go ahead. Yes, I'm uh, 6'1", 195 pounds. Seven and a half inch cut. I like the Brock Lesnar types. Um, I like long walk. Okay, people, this guy's calling in, giving me stats about how tall he is and, and so on and so forth. And that's just a little Thank you uh, for your call. 111, you're on the air with Tony. Please do not make me want to kill myself. Go ahead. Hey, why, why did you hang up on me? Am I not good enough for oh, you? Oh, Jesus. You, no, please, no. That's the Michael guy. Whoa. <laughs> why did you hang up? What are you doing? Holy hell. He had a heart attack. What the fuck was this? Jesus Christ, I'm in a horror movie. 317, please tell me you're going to say something about wrestling. Yeah. Uh, 317, hello, uh, please tell me something. Yeah, hello, wrestling. Hey, 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 317, how you doing there tonight? Holy shit, I don't know anymore. Go ahead, what are you going to say? All right. Well, you know, the, the last caller had, or the caller before last, you, you see like 6'4", like 7 inches uncut. I want to get his fucking number. Holy shit. Okay, listen. Guys, he, he's going bye-bye. Uh, you people, if you want to pick up a guy, what you do is you go to these gay websites, and so obviously you're gay, and you're looking for, you know, schlong. You're looking for the sausage. Go on a gay site. This is not a gay site. If you are gay, you're welcome to come on here and talk to me and whatever. Again, but keep your visual to yourself. However, this is about Sting, who is not gay. At least I don't think he is. We're going to talk about Sting's WWE career. Please watch the filth mouth. Although I already broke my own code because you've got me swearing and throwing shit. And you, 
making my night horrific. Okay. 909, you are on the air with Tony. Please talk to me about wrestling because this is what this show is about. Go ahead. Tony, how are you? How are you doing today? Uh, holy shit. Hey, you think oh, if I stick my cock in your ass, you're going to feel the thing? Okay, so Mickey Mouse just called in from Orlando, Florida, because that's where he lives, from on top of the Epcot uh, ball. And he just offered to stick his penis up my ass. Uh, I guess I'm famous now. 111, please. Make me feel better. Hello? Go ahead. This is Beverly. Beverly, how are you doing this evening? I am a transgender Female, okay, male Beverly, who's interested in ask, things. You, you, Beverly, yeah. I was going to ask. Um, you, you sounded a little unfeminine, but go ahead. Go ahead, Beverly. Well, this is, name, this, is mental, this is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I just wanted to make sure that you weren't treating your callers too negatively. I, I just wanted to make sure that you weren't <laughs> disparaging people and making them too depressed by your negative comments. Beverly, I didn't make any negative comments, first of all. Yeah, you did. What I'm did. trying to do you, is have a wrestling show. And I know this isn't Beverly. This is that fuck. This is that fuck Higgins. Higgins, stop calling my show. This is Beverly. This is Beverly. How dare you? Shit. This is Beverly. How fuck you? Get out of here. God, this fucking guy. Higgins, I know you're listening. You call me from fucking 30 phones. What do you do with your life? You're a doctor. Do something. Holy shit. Fucking guy disguising his voice as a trained sexual. What's the matter with you? When I told you at the beginning of the show, I didn't want any filth month of swearing. Y you fucking destroyed that. And when I say something to you people, when I say, hey, listen, I want to talk about wrestling. I'm here for your entertainment. You're telling, you're making me fucking nervous. You're making me sick. If I, didn't, if I had a microphone I could move with, I, I swear to God, I'd be on my toilet right now. Jesus Christ. Uh, 317, how are you doing? You're on the air with Tony. And go ahead. What are you going to say? Yeah, I seem to have got disconnected. But when I was listening, um, someone seemed interested in what I had to say. And I would like to be able to get their contact information. They were interested in the guy that was six foot one, seven and a half inch cut. And uh, okay, like 317, good night. Thank you so much for calling. Um, Sorry, this isn't a dating site, ladies and gentlemen. Say so gay or straight or trans or bi, trisexual, whatever. It's not a dating site. 909, tell me that you have something to say about Sting. Sí, una cosa que yo le digo a Sting es que Sting es mi favorito. Me gusta mucho el Sting porque yo pienso que desde todo el WWE, él es el mejor, tiene los más huevos. Y los que no le gustan el Sting, pues me la pelan y me la maman. Los cabrones, hijos de la chingada puta madre, la verga. Um, th thank you very much. Have a good night. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next call. 317, what do you hear? What do you say? You're on the air with Tony. Tell me what you think about Sting's WWE career. Go. No, wait a minute. Uh, 317, and I'm 317. So there's a guy on here talking about I want to hook up with. So he's got a seven inch cock. He's in the same area as I am. So if you can do me a favor and get his information for me. I had to click the X button to hang up on him about three or four times. He made me so disgusted that I'm shaking right now. And I almost dropped my mouse and broke it. Seven, eight, six. Go ahead. You're on the air with Tony. Hey, Tony. I just want to warn you beforehand, um, I have been drinking a little bit, but before I get on topic of wrestling, I bought um, 18 Keystones this evening, and I'm about to finish my last one, so I was wondering, you know, what if I put all the cans back in there and maybe has a little scotch tape wrapped it up, you know, like it's, I wonder if I could sell it, you know, for $20, if anybody would be interested in that. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure somebody would be interested in it, but not just not on this show. Um, maybe so 20 luck. Um, maybe somebody else maybe. would be. What if I pissed I'm trying to be, first? I'm trying to be nice here. Get the fuck out of here. 317, go ahead. 
Yeah, um, I'm calling. There was another guy that was calling from 317, and we seem to have similar interests. And um, I was wondering if you could give me his contact information. He seemed to like the Brock Lesnar's types like me and uh, long walks on the beach, and we seem to have the same measurements. And uh, could you please um, pass along his contact information? I would love to pass you on his contact information. As a matter of fact, let me make a suggestion to you. That's when you meet right, this guy, I'm, I'm rock hard right now because I'm rock hard right now. Good. He's really no, got this is, this is good. This is good. Mean? Hey, you, this yeah. is good. You're going to meet this guy. Oh, you're going to walk on the beach. Oh, yeah. He's going to dip his cock oh, in the I'm sand. Right. Hey, it's it's before I come. Ass. Before I Get the fuck out of here. Don't call my show again. You, you fucking people. You, you kind of ruined me for no reason. None of you know me. 765, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, I'm in 765, and that's just up the road from 317. So I'm I'm close to those two, and I don't have a 7-incher. It's more like about four and a half. Um, so I don't know if, if there is. That's me. I'm not responding to these people anymore. I'm just hanging up on them. You know, all they do is piss me off. Go ahead, 111. How you doing? Am I going to hang up on you, too? No, man. It's only me. It's just, it's just me again. Just listen to your show, bud. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you very much. I'm going to mute you again. Sorry, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks. Eh, no problem. Okay. Well, that was that was insane. 317, you're on the air with Tony. How you doing? Hey, Tony. Hey, 317. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. I've already lost hope, but go ahead. I want, I want the other 317's information because he's the guy that I want to fuck tonight. So give me his information right now. Where's he at? What's he doing? What's his location? Now. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, please hold on. I need to uh, have my inhaler. Thank you. You're on me with Tony. Go ahead. Hi, this is Dr. Joshua Higgins calling in for the first time. How are you doing this evening, Tony? I'm just asking about. I'm just asking about. No, tonight. No, the first fucking night. Hey, Tony, I'm asking about Sting jumping off the rafters. Sting wants you to go jump off the fucking rafter. Holy shit. 909. Please do not be Dr. Higgins. He's a piece of shit. Go ahead. Hey, hey, how you you doing, Tony? It's Vinny Barbarino. Vinny Barbarino, hey. Tell Carter I said to go fuck himself. 765. You're on the air with Tony. Go ahead. Seven six five. You're not on the air with Tony. You hung up because something happened. Um, go ahead. You're on the air with Tony. One one one. Have at it. Yeah, Tony, man, we're having bad luck here, man. I'm listening to all these, uh, all these, uh, these uh, homosexuals calling on this this show, man. These three one seven guys are nuts. They're crazy. What's going on here, man? What does Sting have to do with gay sex? I mean, good lord. Uh, this is just uh, this is this is brutal, unfair. Um, I think those guys, there's something wrong with them. Um, the one guy sounds like a twink. The other guy sounds like, a, you know, a, a bear or whatever, a top. And, you know, and it's just, they all need to have a, why are you, uh, what is just it? a Why are you addressing it? When you, okay. Why are you addressing it? And you're talking about circle jerks. All right. That's nice. So um, any children listening to the show right now, because, you know, there are a lot of kids that like professional wrestling. They give a shit about the, the you made me swear. They fucking did it again and again. There it is. All right. I'm going Oh, I'm not here. Okay. People, please stop with the body mouth, the filth, the disgustingness. It's making me sick. It's going to make my callers sick. I'm going to go to 317. 317, before I put you on, before I hit live, my friend, please keep in mind that if you piss me off, I'm going to hang up on you. 317, you're on the air with Tony. Go ahead. I understand, sir. Um, I just want to uh, extend an invitation to uh everyone listening tonight that uh we're going to have a we- uh pro wrestling um appreciation circle jerk and we want you to be our pivot man 
tonight to, uh, for that, Tony. And uh, and please, if you can, while you got a free moment, can you give me the information for the three one seven area code, please? Because I sound we sound very interested in each other. So, will you be the pivot man again this year for the re pro wrestling circle jerk again? Seven eight six. Go ahead. Yeah, I prefer Sting as the scorpion guy, you know, the crow guy. And, and I say that because, you know, when, when he went down on me, I had all of his makeup all in my inner thighs. It was ridiculous. It took two days to get off. That's impressive. Oh, well, listen, next time that ever happens again in your fantasy world where Sting blows you, use some album oh, and take your makeup it. right off. I recorded oh, it. Very good. I'm glad he recorded it. I bet everybody, go to Pornhub, type in Sting WWE, and he's going to be blowing a guy. Here you go. I'll play into you fucking assholes. All right, 765. Go ahead, 765. You're on the air with Tony. What gay shit do you have to say to me? What kind of fucked up mess do you have to lay on my life? Go ahead. Hey, Tony, I'm just calling about Sting. Uh, I would say his peak was about in 1991, uh, like when he was at Starcade '91, and he won the first ever, first ever Battle Boy Battle <laughs> Bowl Battle Royal, and then he got into a feud with the Dangerous Alliance, and the manager was Paul E. Dangerously. That was a crazy time. Uh, the early 90s. And, the greatest uh, minds in professional wrestling is Paul Heyman. That's who he's referring to. He used to work under the name of Paulie Dangerously. Very yeah. uh, genius. Wrestling genius. He's Go ahead. Friggin', he's yep. friggin' awesome. And then two, uh, you, next year, remember when uh, Big uh, Van Vader uh, splashed him and uh, broke three of Sting's ribs and ruptured his spleen? That was crazy. That big fucking 450. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go to church. That 450-pound big van Vader. Yeah, you're going to have to real. go to church. Please stop dropping F-bombs. Thank you. Thank you for catching it, though. Go ahead. Keep going. Talking about okay. Vader. And then um, in, that's, that uh, kind of continued into 93, and he won. A, he had a bloody strap match at Super Brawl number three. And then, uh, then he went over to England, and then he lost to Vader six days later in Dublin. And then uh, Davy Boy Smith beat Vader, and uh, it was just in the, uh, he was teamed up, uh, teamed up with Sting. That was really a great time. And I uh, could you give me the number for that three one seven guy? Because uh, I, I don't live too far away from them. I'm uh, in Muncie, Indiana, which is just up the road from three one seven. Could you give me their numbers? Yeah, sure. It's uh, you got a you got a pen. You ready to write down? I've always got a... Okay, very nice, good. It's 317, fuck you. You pulled it out of me. There it is. I said fuck. So from now on, no 317s. Uh, I'm not going to be answering any 317s anymore. I'm not. Yeah, you call me from a 317, I'm just going to tell you to fuck off. So that's it. So goodbye, 317. You're a piece of shit. Goodbye, 317. You're a piece of garbage. Sorry, 317. And uh, 909, you're on the air with Tony. Please tell me that uh, you have something to say about wrestling. Go ahead. Uh, I got something to say about your audience, Tony. I think this is ridiculous. I'm sitting here with my kids listening to the show, and it's just unbelievable the kind of sodomites you got calling in tonight. Sir, listen, thank you so much, because what's what's going on with this is I'm sure kids are listening to the show. It's a wrestling show. They're going to want to. And please apologize to your children from me wholeheartedly, from Tony, that, uh, for swearing. Because I shouldn't let these people get the best of me. Uh, they they they're they're ruining my show. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, I mean, they're, wake, they're disrupting my house. My sister already gave me the stink guy. My mother's kind of moving around upstairs. Maybe she's watching her shows. I don't know. But... She's a sick woman, and she doesn't need to hear me screaming like that. But th thank you for calling, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tony. You have, a you have a good night. There you go. How simple is that? Very simple. You call up, you say good things, and you leave. And that's it. One, 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 you're on the air with Tony, and I'm probably going to hang up on you. But go ahead. 
Hey, Johnny, this is all I know. The the 317 area circle jerk has been canceled for a night. Pivot man John Hine is not available. Okay, so 111, you were a scumbag, you were a fuckface, you were an asshole, and on top of that, you were a piece of shit. So thank you, and do not ever call me again. Very good. Okay. Going on. Do I dare do this? I'm going to try. 786, you're on the air with Tony. How you doing? Hello, hello, Tony. I uh, just want to say that I appreciate what you're doing, and it's really good to see other people reaching out to other fellow wrestlers, even if it's on, you know, a random site, which, you know, not many people know of, but I appreciate what you do. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate the phone call, and uh, thank you for not I being a filth mouth. No, not at all. I had um, two questions uh, to you about Sting, your opinion. Um, how okay. well do you feel that Sting would have been in the Attitude Era? I, that's a really good question, my friend. I think he would have fared very well. Um, what, what I think would have happened in the Attitude Era was they were playing around a lot with their characters. And uh, they probably, and they've done it in WCW, this thing, like later on down the line. I think they probably would have tried to turn him heel. Um, I highly doubt that the Crows thing would have come out, though. We wouldn't have really got a good, uh, we wouldn't have had a good shot at seeing the Crows thing when he was hunting down the NWO, because believe it or not, yeah, Scott Hall, a.k.a. Razor Ramon, he's the one that came up with that shtick. He's the one that sat Sting down and said, hey, why don't you try this? And, and you know what? It worked. I mean, God bless him. He did a great job with that. I mean, the Sting in the Attitude Era. That. Yeah, it mm -hmm. actually is very true. Yeah. Yeah, Scott all came up with the Crow uh, Sting gimmick. I wonder, because I know Vince McMahon wouldn't have come up with something like that. I mean, Eric Bischoff was really great, and I know you like Paul Heyman, but if the Sting, uh, the Crow Sting was in the Attitude Era, do you think that he would have blown Shawn Michaels? I really hope people are happy because what's happening here is I'm probably going to have to go refill my uh, rescue inhaler tomorrow. Um, for the simple fact is I used a lot of it tonight and I'm starting to get a nosebleed. I hope you're happy with yourself. 636, you're on the air with Tony. Go ahead. Hey, Tony, how are you today? You sound like a drunk Darth Vader, but I'm well. How are you? How big's your cock? Uh, the cock on the farm is pretty big. About 12 pounds, 14 pounds. I don't know. I feed him really well. Just give me a uh, yeah. girth. I want girth. I'm a girth man. Uh, very thick, very big. He walks around. He clucks a lot. Thank you. Have a good night. Yep, that's right. Any kids calling in or listening in? Uh, children, I want you to know that this guy meant cock on the farm as a rooster. So, thank you. 920, you are on the air with Tony. Go ahead. Hey, Tony, it's John. How you doing tonight? <clears throat> I don't know. Hello, John, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I can hear you, John. I, I just don't hey, know how. Hey, I'm all right, Tony. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. The, the reason why I'm calling is one of, uh, I want to RSVP for that circle jerk. Is that coming up in the near, near future or what? Actually, yeah, John, that is. I'm, I'll tell you what. Uh, stay by your phone tonight, and I will okay. call you in the team of all the details. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll just, I'll just let your other, other callers know I'm uh, six and a half inches long and about okay. uh, probably about, I would say, about. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. All right. Sorry, people. Didn't mean to swear on that one. Block number, please go away. Yeah, um, I'm interested in, you know, when I was growing up, my favorite wrestler was uh, Earthquake. That was my favorite guy. And and um, Andre the May Giant, he was peace. always... Yeah, amen. And, um, and who was that guy they were talking about? Paul, what was his name that a few callers back was talking about? So we're talking about Paulie Dangerously, a.k.a. you will know him now as uh, Brock Lesnar's advocate, uh, ECW owner, Paul Heyman. Go ahead. Yeah, he sounds like a guy that would have a 
real thick talk. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. What is the girl yeah. on that side? Fantastic. All right, guys. Let me let me let me reboot this. When you call into a wrestling show, make it about wrestling, but don't make it dirty. Why are you gonna make everything so fucking dirty? It's disgusting. Unknown, why do you keep calling on me? I hang up on you. You keep coming back. Hello. And you annoy the shit. Hello. Hello. Is this Tony? Hello. This is Tony. This is Tony. Yes. Yes, this okay. is Tony. This is Jericho. How are you doing, Tony? I know this isn't Chris Jericho, but go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm not just doing very really... well because I got lunatics calling in, but go ahead. Go ahead, Jericho. Who are these lunatics calling in? Why can't you control it? What's going on right now? I'm just trying to listen about Sting and I'm all these trolls. Psychic. I cannot control people calling to my show. If I were psychic and I knew who was calling in, and what kind of assholes were here? I probably only would have taken four phone calls in the last fucking hour. Go ahead. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what you got to say about Sting and why he's a better wrestler than Brock Lesnar. What did you say? I mean, that's what... Jericho. Hmm. Jericho, you sound very familiar, Jericho. No, this is Jericho. Why okay, can't Jericho. why please give me a better description about Sting and why he's better than Brock Lesnar? This is not Jericho. This is Jericho. No, it's not Jericho. I know who, who this is. is. It? I know who this is. Why, why don't you tell me who it is, you fucking coward? Go ahead, tell me who it is. Why don't you fight me, you fucking bitch? I'm a fucking bitch. You calling into my show and talking shit on my channel. I will I'm fight you. Bitch. I will fight you tomorrow, you goddamn bitch, coward, punk. You will fight me tomorrow. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Fuck the fuck face. Where are we meeting? Where are we meeting? Okay. Where, where are we meeting, you, you cunt, coward, cunt, bitch? Where the fuck are you from? Where the fuck are you from? Big Spring, Texas, you fucking coward. I'll drive up to Boston, Massachusetts to fuck your punk ass up. You can't even speak correctly. You what are you, five foot tall? What are you, five foot tall, you fucking bitch? I'm a lot taller than you, you fucking prick. Get off my <laughs> no, fucking No, you're line. five foot Don't tall. You no, hey, hey, do not, me. hey. You're not going to even fight. You're scared. You're scared. That's all you are. I'm scared. You're a scared, scared little bitch. You're a scared little bitch. You're a scared little you're bitch. Not a keyboard warrior. You're a scared little I know bitch. You're a fucking doctor. You're not a doctor. You're a scared little I... bitch. You're a scared little Fuck bitch off. is all you are. You're a fucking guy. I am so sick of this motherfucker. Higgins, I hung up on him, but I know he's listening because he's a fucking scotch and he won't leave me alone. Higgins, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a big favor. I need you to do everybody a favor. I need you to do that guy Clay a favor, the one that you ruined this fucking show, and the guy Steve a favor. I need you to do all these people a favor. I need you to go in your bedroom right now, okay? Go in your bedroom. I want you to fix your hair if you have any. Maybe, you know, put your glasses on, make sure they fit just right. I want you to take your hands, put them on the back of your head, and shove it up your fucking ass. I woke my mother up. I gotta go. Fuck you all. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit. I'm, I'm not doing the show anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you for ruining a good thing. Hold on, ma. Thank you. Thank you for ruining a good thing. Good night. Fucking assholes. <laughs>